The Destroy All is officially over, and you are not going to believe who the winner is. Okay, let's get one thing straight. This episode of Killing Bites was just awesome and ridiculous in the best ways possible. Is it Shakespeare? No, it's Killing Bites. It's half humans, half animal hybrids fighting each other in a massive underground tournament. It's not meant to be highly intellectual stuff. It's just fun. And this episode certainly lived up to all of the fun that is Killing Bites. We finally got our big final battle between Hitomi and Kido the Pangolin. And we got to see that Hitomi is in her brand new awakened Therian throat form, which is incredibly formidable and powerful and able to basically outspeed Kido in just about every single way. For the first half of the battle, she pretty much just wipes the floor with him. That is until we start to learn about Kido's back story, which isn't the deepest thing in the world, but it certainly served the purpose of showing why he's so obsessed of protecting the trees and the flowers, and he doesn't want them to get hurt. Apparently in Kido's past, right before his mother passed away, she gave him this message that she will always exist within the flowers. When you think of the flowers, think of your mother. Protect them. And his drunken father, who came in and just decided to destroy all these flowers, basically just unleashed a little psychopath when little Kido decides to go insane and kill his father. And that's when he becomes obsessed with protecting all things nature because he sees them and associates them with his mother. So basically, he's a pangolin mama's boy, but he's also really freaking scary because he goes through a big transformation where his body just erupts and expands and gets way more spikier than before. And in like a split second, what might be the craziest scene of the series, and I don't even know how she's going to recover from this, Hitomi gets her arm cut off. Just like that. Now, this isn't like Dragon Ball Z. She's not a Namekian or Boo herself. She's not going to just grow that stuff back. Are they going to be able to just stitch that thing back on and she'll get her arm back? I have no idea. But this is a really big moment showing that basically Kido has another trick up his sleeve. And this is when he starts to dominate the battle, just knocking Hitomi around left and right. That is until we get to the crucial moment. Spoiler warning if you don't want to see it, but well, here we go. Hitomi manages to defeat Kido in one of the most violent and ridiculous epic ways. I absolutely loved it. Not only does she allow herself to get close to her severed arm and get beaten by Kido, but she actually takes that severed arm, throws it into his damaged eye socket, then jumps right directly in front of him, jamming her fist and claws down his throat and through the back of his skull. That's right. She freaking skull fucked him. And it was awesome. Seriously, one of the coolest scenes of the entire series. She then just collapses, smiling as she's bleeding out from her friggin' cut off arm. It's ridiculous, but we still have a couple of fighters left. Yes, the final battle of the series. It looks like Cheetah and Rabbit are still around, and before we can get to their battle, it looks like, believe it or not, even after being damaged through the friggin' skull and all of his guts exploding out of the back of his head, Kido manages to get up and tries to attack Cheetah, but she's so fast in this moment, and of course he's incredibly weakened, that she cuts right through his throat. Then we get to Cheetah versus Rabbit. It's pretty obvious that Cheetah's gonna win this battle. She seems to have the most skills. No, she freaking loses to the Rabbit. The Rabbit does this ridiculous move where Ui starts to run away, and in just like the last second, right as Eros is about to get close to her, she does this like spinning kick that apparently Rabbits actually do. And it actually takes out Eriza. She's completely knocked out. And in a big upset and surprise, Ui Inaba, the rabbit brute, is the winner of the Destroy All. Just did not see that coming at all. And man, is that absolutely hilarious. Now, that they could have ended the episode right there, and I'd have been pretty satisfied, but it looks like they're going to be going in an interesting direction, as because Ishida won, it looks like they're going to have control over all of the different Zaibatsus and have authority over everything. And that's definitely displayed from the current leader of the Ishida clan, who goes completely insane, and then we realize that it looks like the uh, Sumitomo clan and the Mitsukado clan, which I believe that's who they are, that, that's the one that Yoko and the old man with the crazy long tongue are associated with, 
basically look like they're about to take over everything. And it looks like they're going to try and do it by force. And it looks like they sort of teamed up against the other Zaibatsu. And they've even uh, dispelled all of these chameleon soldiers to the island to sort of clean things up and to get rid of any survivors. And the episode ends with the island with these like weird chameleon people hanging out in the trees. Uh, they're initially invisible, but they've apparently been here the entire time, and they're going to go after everyone. So the series is going to end with a giant battle against a bunch of chameleon men, and is possibly going to go into something really cool. I'm not sure. I'm kind of hoping there's going to be more of Killing Bites in anime form in the future. It's hard to say. The, the name of the next episode is going to be The Final Bite, but will it truly be the final episode of this series? Is this going to be an anime that goes down as another one of those shows that's basically just a big, elaborate commercial to buy the manga version? I don't know. All I know is, what's the rundown on this week's episode of Killing Pikes? Just a stupid, fun, awesome episode right here. H Hitomi vs. Uh, Kido was definitely awesome. It featured a lot of really great explosive scenes. It was super fast and fluid, and most importantly, every single attack looked like it really hurt a lot, especially from Kido, who is just a giant, massive bull of pure destruction. Like, when he transformed after going over his, like, mama's boy rage, like, that was crazy. Seeing Hitomi lose her arm like how is she gonna get that back basically what i'm trying to say is the battle between hitomi and kido certainly lived up to the hype and considering that this is the first major arc of the series expectations are certainly going to be high for the future whether that happens is still a mystery and i can't wait to see how this series is going to completely wrap things up and i can't wait to see how uh Ui is going to get out of this one with all of these creepy chameleons who are going to be going after them. It looks like the reptiles are officially going to be taking over, and it looks like that's all been a big plan of Sumitomo, because they've always been associated with reptiles, and them teaming up with the Mitsukado clan is probably going to give them a big advantage in taking over this entire thing, and it could lead to something really cool in the future. What that's going to be is a complete mystery, so for now, let's just kick back, relax, and enjoy the ride that is Killing Bites. This was an awesome episode. If I only had some complaints, is that some of the CG looks looked a little spotty. There are times when they don't need to do the CG animation, and for me, it sort of brings the experience down. But still, this episode was way too fun. I'm giving this one a 4 out of 5. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. You can tell me all of them in the comment section below. I'd love to talk with you guys about this episode, so if you have any questions for me, or if you guys want to start a discussion, let's make sure and make that happen. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more anime reviews. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, stay down there, baby.